Hello everyone and welcome back to today's weather video. Today is June 22nd, the first day after the first official day of summer. Hope everyone out there is enjoying summertime finally here and everything. Well, guess what? If you live in the Great Lakes and the eastern part of the country, it's not really feeling a whole lot like summer today or probably the next several days. We actually have a cold front that's been sweeping down from Canada. It's been very hot and humid over the past couple of days. But today, obviously, if you live here in D.C., it's raining outside and a lot, lot cooler. It's going to continue to stay on kind of the cooler side, not like, you know, like 50s and 60s, but, you know, upper 70s to low 80s and a lot less humidity over the next several days. So if you live, again, from Great Lakes, the cold front has been sweeping down into parts of New England, interior northeast, and now the mid-Atlantic. You are going to see rain showers throughout the day in most of these locations. It's going to be sweeping out of here over night to night, um, and then it will be much drier and everything, but you're going to feel um, the actual dew points and humidity levels drop behind this cold front. So you're not going to feel muggy conditions like you have seen over the past several days um, in most of the eastern part of the country. This is actually going to be continuing over the next week or so. Um, we're not going to be stuck in the 70s for, you know, the most part, especially here in D.C. We'll warm back up to like the middle 80s. But again, humidity levels are the big thing you're going to notice. So it's going to feel a lot more comfortable and not very, you know, hot and muggy outside. I'd say probably again, um, week or so, so up to the weekend of 4th of July, we might be getting back into more of the summer like temperatures around 90 degrees for the 4th or right after. But as of right now, it looks like this cooler pattern is going to stick around for a little bit. Um, and then if you live across the south, east and the um, south, well, I mean, pretty much typical weather over the next several days as well. Not a whole lot of changes and everything. We have seen some heat build in parts of Texas. This is very, very common. Places in Texas can easily get into the 90s and 100s for days and weeks, basically, during the summer months. So um, pretty typical in terms of that and everything. Uh, the other big story is out here in the actual western part of the country. It has been sizzling hot it seems like forever honestly uh we've had excessive heat warnings pretty much everywhere <laughs> like almost in all the states um you know just just in parts of the west and everything now the heat has been coming down um over the past day or so um but you know like death valley has been in the 120s 120s for days basically um phoenix arizona las vegas in the one teens in multiple locations around there, also into the one teens and low 120s. The temperatures are going to come down a little bit, but then they're supposed to rebound over the next, I would say maybe five days or so. Death Valley, you are going to see if you go and visit Death Valley, by the way, uh, you need to bring like water and only drink water um, and don't spend that much time out there. I've never been, but I've seen videos and everything it just it, you just look at the video and it just it, it's hot you just feel like oh you're suffocating um death valley is supposed to get back up into the 120s next week at the end of this weekend and going into early next week um so again the heat is on out here in the west and this is not helping at all with the drought the drought has been exceptional in pretty much all of the western states maybe just not the pacific northwest but you tend to get a little bit more rain but honestly the desert southwest the four corners regions it has just been just awful 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 and they really um really do need the rain and all that stuff um so that's basically your just quick kind of like weather forecasted update not a whole lot um other than that going on, we did have some severe storms in parts of the Midwest and the Ohio River Valley yesterday, actually including the Mid-Atlantic. I was working and <clears throat> working and all of a sudden we had a pop-up thunderstorm and lightning struck and it just boom, the whole like building shook and everything. It's pretty cool, but a little scary at the same time. Glad I was inside and everything. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot going on for tropical anything tropical development um nothing to talk about 
um, with the tropics as well. The only thing was that tropical storm Claudette that made landfall in Louisiana just moved right across the southeast and back into the Atlantic. And it is way, way, way um, pretty much off the grid basically at this point. Um, but it did bring a lot of um, uh, damage to the uh, Gulf Coast and um, a lot of flooding rings as well. So that is the uh, video and I will be back with another one hopefully very soon. Until then, stay safe.